Today we're speedrunning through Earn to Die 2, which is probably the best one in the series. Now the story for this game is pretty simple. Basically, we're in a zombie apocalypse. We're trying to run away from a bunch of zombies, they're almost catching us, but we find a gas station. Now once we make it into the gas station, we see a TV announcement. It's basically telling us that the government is trying to save us, but we have to get to this plane. And the plane is very far away from us, so we have to drive all the way across the country with this car. Yep, this is gonna take a while. Now before we start the speedrun, you might have noticed something. The main character has some pretty nice hair, but that's not true about everybody. And that's why the sponsor of today's video is Keeps. See, the truth is, every two out of three guys will experience some some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. I'm gonna be bald? Thinning! And the best way to prevent this is to do something while you still have hair left. This is where Keeps comes in. The nice thing about Keeps is they make their process really easy. You can visit a licensed doctor online who will review your information and recommend what you need. Then your hair loss medication will be delivered right to your door. You can also message your Keeps doctor 24 seven with any questions or concerns that come along the way. Now prevention really is key. The sooner you start taking Keeps, the more hair you can save, especially because treatments usually take about four to six months to start seeing results. And one of the nice things about Keeps is it's one of the more affordable options for hair loss and won't completely destroy your wallet. So if you're losing hair and want to do something about it, make sure to go to keeps.com slash easy speezy or click the link in the description to get 50% off your first order. Thanks again Keeps for sponsoring the video and let's start the speedrun. Now we'll start our speedrun as soon as we click on go and then right away you can see what this game is all about. Basically we're in a car and we're killing some zombies. Now our car isn't the greatest in the world because it doesn't have too many upgrades and it gets stopped a lot by all the zombies we're running over so there's a lot to be desired. But the nice thing is when we run out of fuel we go back to the garage and we made more money. Now first of all we're going to spend our little bit of money on some new wheels. This is gonna increase a couple things like our traction, our speed, and how far we're able to go. So this is how the game loop of the game goes. Basically, every day we make it a certain amount of distance, we get some money because of that, and we spend that on an upgrade. Then with that upgrade, hopefully we're able to make it even farther until we're finally able to make it to the end of the game. So this time I upgraded my engine, and last time I wasn't able to make it up this hill, but I'm able to make it there, and yeah, we just made it even farther. We even see that big guy which we run over. Now with that, I'm gonna come back here here, upgrade my fuel tank a little bit, and go back into killing some zombies. So this game's progression is actually really fun, even though you are doing the same course over and over again. The upgrades make it a little bit easier every single time, and we also get some things like that cash crate. Now that cash crate is going to give us some extra cash, which we will be able to use to buy even more things. So I'm going to buy an upgrade to my transmission, as well as a boost. Now the boost is probably my favorite upgrade in the game, and the reason behind that is we can do things like that, where instead of taking the lower path, now we're taking the higher one and we can get another cash crate. So we can use that in multiple places to help us go a little bit faster. And a big use for it is just making some jumps or going up some hills. So we'll keep using the boost in different areas and hopefully not get stuck right there. It can also help us with that and hopefully get some more distance so we can make some more money. Now for this one, we're going to increase our rate redistribution and also our fuel just a tiny bit more, which both of those, like everything else in the game, will just make our car a little bit better. Now you can see at the top of the screen how far we've been able to go. Basically, the orange arrow is our maximum distance and the white dot is where we're at currently. So as a general rule, we're always trying to get just a little bit farther than we got last time. Like this time, even though it wasn't too much, hey, I killed some more zombies, we're in a completely new place. And of course that means more money, which we can now spend on armor. Which this isn't really armor, it's more of just a saw on the front of my car, which does that to zombies. Yeah, it completely does <laughs> them and is actually one of the most beautiful things in the game. Now the reason we want this is because every time you hit a zombie it's going to make you go a little bit slower because we have the saw that's going to make that effect a tiny bit less and it's also going to make sure that our car doesn't get destroyed as easily because even though it hasn't happened too much yet your car can also get destroyed your engine can break things like that can happen which are obviously going to be a loss of speed so we don't want that to happen. Now here I'm going to upgrade my engine and the engine upgrades are always one of the nicest upgrades because they allow allow you to go a lot further than last time. Now we're probably not going to make it to the end even though we're almost there and we just missed the cash crate. With that though, I am going to buy some more fuel as well as a bit of a more boost and hopefully we should be able to make it to our first checkpoint this time. Of course, at the top of our screen, you can see there are two different checkpoints and an ending that we need to make it to. The checkpoints will be nice because that's going to be a new base for us, which means we won't have to do this part ever again. And if I just play this fairly well, we should be able to make it there. First of all, we'll get that cash crate, then we come all the way down here. I'm going to make sure I use my boost and then hopefully we'll make it right to the end 
and we barely made it. That was way too close. But that means we do have this new checkpoint, and I can also now get some new upgrades like a wheel upgrade. The wheel upgrade is definitely my second favorite upgrade after the boost, just because it allows you to go so much faster. And I mean, I'm a speedrunner, of course, I like going fast. Oh, yeah. Also, now this game has introduced explosions. So as we go through, it's not enough to just have zombies. We now explode them, which you know is a super fun time. Of course, you need that in a game like this. And we're about to see another one, as well as another cash crate. And that was just a beautiful explosion. I love that. We can also probably make it a tiny bit farther with our boost. And we'll end right there before we upgrade our boost two different times, as well as our fuel one time, so we can go a lot farther. Now, this stage, as you can see, it has a lot more stuff. There are more zombies, there are more structures, and overall, it's probably also a lot more interesting than the last stage. I mean, they have explosions. Of course, it's more interesting. That was not my best journey ever. We didn't make it quite as far as I would have liked, but at least we can still upgrade our transmission, go back out, and this time we should make it to a really good spot. The most important part for speedrunning this game is just adapting to what happened, because obviously not every time is going to be the perfect run. The boxes a lot of the times can randomly mess up your momentum, and yeah, some weird things can happen, but as long as I react well, we should still be able to get a pretty good time. Okay, this time should finally allow me to go on this bridge, which I'm going to use a lot of my boost for until I make it to this next cash crate. Now, this is where the game really starts getting interesting because there are multiple different paths. But before we get to that, I'm going to upgrade my engine and also my transmission, which is going to be a really big upgrade for the car. But last time I took the lower path so I could get that cash crate. This time we want to stay at the top as far as possible. That's just going to be the fastest one and the one that allows us to go the furthest distance, especially because we could do that trick right there where we got that huge boost. Now, right here, I can upgrade my fuel as well as my boost one more time. And hopefully with this run, we're going to be able to make it to the next cash crate. One thing you'll see me do as I go through this is I'm only using my boost when I come across these openings because we do want to make it over that. And then we can use a huge boost so we can make it over here. Now we should still have a little bit of boost left, which is hopefully going to allow us to go up here, make it through that guy, get one last cash crate. And yeah, that was a really good day. Now with this, I'm going to upgrade my armor just a little bit more as well as get some more fuel and we can go on to another day. Now armor does seem like a kind kind of weird thing to get because our car hasn't been going through too much damage. But I mean, to be fair, we've experienced a lot of explosions. And eventually, if you don't get armor, it definitely will do some bad things to you. I mean, especially with whatever is going on right now. I do wish the armor did make our saw a little bit bigger. That'd be pretty cool. But hey, I'd say our car is a pretty good killing machine already. Now with this next one, we didn't make it too much farther. And that's because the biggest purpose of this was just get some more money. And we even got the cash crate. That is so lucky. Oh, that saves us a lot of time. I'm really Really happy about that. I'm going to get a couple of upgrades and we were just able to afford everything that we needed. I don't think I've ever gotten that cash crate this early. So this is a really good run. Now we're definitely not going to make it to the next gas station just yet, but we are incredibly close. We can just go through all these zombies. They're kind of just dying. They have no shot. And our white dot is so close to there by now. With this, I will get an upgrade to my engine and hopefully that engine upgrade is going to be enough to let us make it there. Now with this run, I specifically saved a lot of my boots to hopefully keep as much as possible. What just happened there? That was not... Okay, car, please do not break on me. See, this is why we need the armor because, yeah, our car is not doing the greatest in the world anymore. But I have a good amount of gas, a good amount of boost. As long as my car doesn't break, I think we're going to be fine here. Come on, game. All you got to do is give it to me. And there we go. We made it to the gas station again. We even got a lot farther. And this run is going amazing so far. Okay, it's time to go upgrade my fuel a little bit more and make it back out. Now with this one, it gets even more interesting, like usual. I mean, it starts out with an explosion, so you already know it's going to be interesting. And then we're going to go downhill a lot. You know, it's just kind of normal stuff. We kill some zombies. They try their best. They die every single time. You'd think they learn by now or like tell their friends not to face off against me, but they just choose not to. Now, right as I make it through here, we will see there's another cash crate. So I need to slow down to make sure I can get that. And then we have an interesting part after we make it past all these boxes, like that gigantic tower, which is just completely decimating us and another explosion. Now, right here, what I want to do is I want to take the lower path. And the reason I want to do that is that I'm trying to get another cash crate. Now, 
normally I'm not going to be able to get it this time, but I can still at least try and oh my, this run is going amazing. Okay, let's just try to go as far as possible. We didn't get that explosion, but that's okay. We can upgrade our transmission, get some more fuel and even upgrade our boost. And oh, this car is so good. Like zombies literally have no chance anymore. I know before they all died very easily, but now they die with like a single touch. It's insane. So last time I took the bottom path, but this time we're going to want to go to the top. Now with here, we're going to have to use our boost to be able to make it past some big gaps, but we can keep making it through and we have a pretty good amount. Okay. Well, that didn't exactly work how I wanted it to. It doesn't really matter for this run because we're not going to make it too far, but next time I need to make sure I don't make that mistake. For now, I'm going to upgrade my wheels. That's going to be a nice one. Actually, both our wheels and our fuel are maxed out. So we're not going to be able to make it to the end just yet, but we are very close. Now, like I said, all these gaps, we're just going to use our boost. Some of these times we might be able to make it without the boost, but it's just not worth it. But we do want to conserve our boost at least a little bit. For a part, I'm going to show in just a second. Now, we won't make it there just yet. And I mean, it might be worth it using my boost for now. I guess we'll use it there. We're still going to make it pretty far. That's all that really matters. And with this, it's time to get some more weight redistribution. And this next one is pretty much just going to be grinding for money again. Okay, we made it kind of far. This wasn't perfect. I mean, I definitely would have wanted a better run here, but at least we met our goal and did make it a little bit farther, which will allow us to upgrade our boost at least a couple of times. And here's where things are going to start getting really fun. Oh, okay. What? I just lost all my control of this car. <laughs> yep. That was really bad. Ugh. I really want to show off this technique. I keep alluding to it and then everything starts going wrong. Please car. I mean, it's not going to be too much of a time loss. Like I've said before, because at the end of the day, we still make money and it's not like we would have made it to the end there. But for right here, I will upgrade my engine. And I swear if I don't make it this time, I'm going to be so upset. Okay, here we go. We have finally gotten the top path like I wanted to all along. Now what this does is first of all, it gives us a cash crate. That's always going to be nice. And now we get this tunnel. We can use a lot of our boost and just completely rocket boost all the way over here, even do a flip if I want to. And you know, that's going to give us a ton of distance and a lot of money at that. That is two cash crates we got this single time. Now I'm going to keep going as much as possible, but of course, eventually my engine is going to break and a lot of zombies are probably going to murder me. They're coming for me, but now it's time to get my boost up to max. Along with that, we're also going to increase my transmission and it's time for a really fun ride because you know that huge jump we did last time. Well, this time it's going to be a lot bigger. Okay, so as you can see, we still have a good amount of fuel and we have a ton of boost left. So as soon as we make it to the end of this tunnel, we're going to activate that boost and kind of try to go upwards somewhat. And yeah, look how fast we're going. Look how through the map we are now. And <laughs> this is just insane. We might even make it to the end. As long as I play this well, please let me have enough gas. And there we go. That's going to be the gas station. Now I can call off time as soon as we see that we got the checkpoint. And there we go. 27, 28. I streamed this on my Twitch channel a couple of times, but this is by far the best time I've ever gotten. And it's also going to be a second place time and also way better than all the mobile speed runners. I'm actually not sure why there's such a time difference, but that's going to be our speed run because doing this entire game would take way too long. All right, subscribe to the channel. Bye.